seen. Everybody who's sitting on the toilet watching this. If you sit your big boot, heavy booty on that toilet right now and you giggling to yourself, you are an upstanding person. I don't care what you're doing in life right now. We all fucked up. This the COVID. I'm in the house 24-7, so I ain't got shit to do but talk to you. So if somebody's stressing you out, let me know and I will stress them out. Let me know what they did. Now, in between that time, Dottie, you know what I do. Come on, you done been here enough. Hey, Angela P. AP in here, my nigga DJ Ron C in here. What's up, Deborah? My guy, I'm about to, I'm about to make y'all tell me the truth too. Carla, what's happening, baby? My vice president is here. She spent that comment at the bottom that says, let me stress you out show. That's my vice president of the show. And the vice president of my bougettes. She produces this, let me stress you out show along with myself, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all show her some respect in the chat if your if your chat message ain't coming through send it to her tag her in it and i will see it because she comments so much they the algorithms ladies and gentlemen i'm not responsible for it right come on boogie you keep telling me about them damn uh terrence k williams and i still don't know who he is it's not a big enough news it's really affecting you though so you're gonna have to tell me what who that is and what he's doing I know there's a lot of coonery going on in the 2020, but I'm not, I can't address everybody. Some of them have a big enough voice that I need to address them. Thank you. Please address this dude that said he took my mama's virginity last night and I punched him in his face. What do you mean he took it? Did he, did your mom, was he just the first person that had sex with your mom? There ain't really nothing wrong with that. Now, somebody got to be the first to have sex with everybody, mama. And God damn it, if he said it disrespectfully, now that's a different thing. Char Charlene, what's happening? Sonya, what up, baby? Kanye West, oh, come on now, Kanye, that's not fair. Come on, Vonda, come on, Denise. Kanye is too easy for me to stress out because he's... It's, 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 it's not even funny no more, guys. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a good joke beater. I ring the joke and beat the joke like I beat the joke like I'll ring all the juice out the joke before I stop telling it. But God damn it, Kanye, I'm done with it. I rung it all out. I feel sorry for you at this point. Sharice, we can't keep, we can't keep um, stressing Kanye out. The man got mental health issues, it's obvious. But in between these stress outs, ladies and gentlemen, what I do is I ask you a question, and today the question is, can your boyfriend or girlfriend have friends that's of the opposite sex, or is of the sex that he pro, pro, you know, proclaims to be of, of liking, of interest in? Can your man have girlfriends or a best friend that's a girl? Or can your woman have a best friend that's a man? And this nigga handsome. And this nigga got tattoos from his wrist to his shoulder. This nigga in shape. This nigga on sea moss. This nigga got long hair. This nigga got a full beard. And this nigga got a dingo ling that comes down past his kneecaps. Now you gotta let you gonna let this nigga be your girlfriend? Strictly blue tonic. I'm just asking. Denise said, yes, he can. I'm secure in my relationship. Woo! Carla says, hell no, not unless we all friends. Okay, Carla, you ain't going for it. Anthony said, like Will and Jada, I, I'm not sure. What is going on? Stress me the hell out. Terry, chill in this live real quick, Terry. Just hang in there. Hit that cash out because you one of my boogie bros now. Come on through, Terry. And what we do is I will stress somebody out for you, but I'm asking you in between time because soon as I see one I can get a stress out out of, I'm a freestyle do it right now. Well, I'm a well-known comic. He heard someone say my name last night and said my mama name and then said that bullshit, so I punched him. Oh, hey, hey, I mean, hey, I mean, I'm the first to, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't have sex with somebody mama's for the first time, a couple of, a couple of people mama for the first time. 
If I see him, I'm going to be like, hey, shit, you know I had that dick up in your mama. I was the first one. <laughs> yeah, she showed love to a real nigga back in the 70s or back in whatever, 90s. You know, 93, you know, your mama was a good girl until she met me. You know, I, you know, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Shit, that's, hey, it sounds like a you, more of a you problem than a, let me see. Yes, as long as I know her and there is nothing going on, I'm okay with it. You got to know the, the person though, Cheryl, okay? Yes, trust is the foundation of your relationship. So yes, Chantel Williams says, not Chantel from New Orleans, but the other Chantel says that you can have your friends. I trust you with your friends. Deborah, who shared the live, Deborah Dubois, what's that in the Desiree from the Caribbean? You say yes, but on a certain level. Okay. Deborah says no. That is my final answer. Deborah says no friends for that nigga. That's her final answer. Yes, that's, that's Deborah's final answer. Okay, Maria says, yes, in my opinion, you can maybe need it. Okay. Lenny says, Lenny Dick says, Lenny Dickinson says, yes, it's all about trust. Kima says, stress out Kanye, please. We just said, damn, it's abusive, it's abuse, it's getting abusive. I got two other stress out videos on Kanye. I can't keep doing this. I got three other videos that I did a stress out on Kanye. I can't, I gotta let him, I gotta let him make it. For a while, at least. I don't have a problem with my man having friends of the opposite sex as long as there are boundaries set from the start. I'm super secure in my relationship, China. Smith says, Miss China, I see you, baby girl. You better come goddamn through and say what you say and talk your shit. That's what you better goddamn do. That's crazy. That's awful. What, what's awful? What the fuck is awful? Let me see. Good question. Can't wait to see what these lying hookers gonna say. Don B, you a real nigga, boy. You they, you, listen, them Cali old niggas from New Orleans. Let me tell you something about them before we continue. These niggas are putting long dick on hoes, and they used to be back in the day fucking these low class, bottom of the barrel hoes. And then these niggas out the Cali on the step, they came up, got well educated, suited up, booted up, fresh out the project, into the house, got a washer and a dryer. The nigga doing good in life now, and he gonna talk a lot of shit. That nigga Don Barry gonna talk his shit and he gonna spend money and he gonna live a good life. But this nigga perspective is different. And it's always going to be like that. Within the first six months, it was 50%. Hey, Susie, thank you for coming, Tori. Tora. Aisha, what up, baby? Your mama dying. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not like dying laughing, but she dying. Okay, oh, damn, that's crazy. But he, that was bad timing for that one. That was bad timing. That was definitely bad timing. Thank you, um, Pamela, for coming through. Welcome, y'all, to the Let Me Stress You Out show. I'm going to catch all y'all answers first. Baby Dre in here, my little brother. Now, let me tell you somebody I know for sure. Now, this one, now, now I'm going to ask this question to him, and he a real nigga, he's going to say it. Can your old lady have male friends, Baby Dre? Let me know if you got a one you love, this the one you with, this the one you smash, this the one you live with. Y'all doing threesomes, y'all rocking the whole nine, whatever you live like, because I know how Baby Dre live. He love to fuck some hoes, man. I know him, Baby Dre, for about 20 years, man. When I tell you Baby Dre is putting dick in bitch's belly button, and I know this for sure, because this was one of, one of my best friends. Now, baby Dre say you can have friends, then you got them and you can have friends. If he say you can't, you can't. I, I'm, I gotta go back to see what baby Dre said and I ain't gonna even, I'ma just wait on to, I ain't gonna say my opinion until I see my dog opinion. No red. Okay, okay. My girl, Miss Anderson is in the building. Anderson is from ex-military. Yeah, she out there in Pennsylvania. What's up, baby girl? Thank you for coming on through. I got to ask you this too, now, cause you got your your body in shape. You you done we done got older now since I met you. 
That's been about 10 years. That's been more than, maybe more than 10 years ago since I saw you. You're still in shape. You're on your Nutriverse tea or something. You, you got, you're on your CMOS. You working out still because you used to be in that military. You holding that body together. Them titties still sit up, you know, nice little body, little track star. You know, still a little girl, baby face. You out here slinging coochie. So now, if you know you with a man, and you love this nigga, and that's the one you want, that's the one y'all in a relationship with, is he allowed to have a best friend? That is a female. And I'm talking about he a best friend to where his nigga, they talk on the phone together, they go to the movies together, they, hey, when some new shit coming out, they trying to double date sometimes, and when they ain't double dating with y'all, they going by themselves with, with just each other. Vice President said, yes, old ones that we know, but definitely no new ones. Old friends. You can have old friends, but not new friends. That's what Vice President saying. Sharika, what your, say, what, what your stance is on this? I'm still waiting on baby Dre to say, though. Andre White, come on through and tell me, nigga. Put it in that chat and tag my Vice President. Type in Michelle Nelson at, uh, so I can see your damn comment. I don't mind because... I'm not finna get rid of my male friends that I've been with my whole life since we was on the playground. That's not happening. Been there. Kaomi, okay, Kaomi. Okay, Kaomi. Kaomi White with the black name. Kaomi, let me tell you something, Kaomi. You, you keeping your male friends. Okay, you keeping all of them. The ones you had sex with and didn't have sex with. You keeping all of them. Michelle, I found the link in his photo. Where should I send it? God damn it, talk to my Vice President Rain, and thank you for sharing the live. Paula, I try to see you all the way from Germany. I appreciate you. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. I know a little German, so I'm just, I'm an international lover. I love everybody from internationally. Come on through, Lawanda. Thank you for coming, uh, Tawanda. Thank you. Y'all hit that cash app. Let me ask you. I ain't gave y'all my opinion yet, and I'm coming to it, but I wanted to get y'all perspective on this before I give my perspective. Joe said, not the best friend, but just a friend. So Joe says, no besties. No male besties. I'm talking about gay straight or otherwise. You, oh, Joe, you not letting us, you not letting us be best friends with somebody with a penis attached to their body. Is that what you're telling me, Joe? Pamela said, no, he can't have no female friends. I'm his best friend. I'm his best motherfucking friend. What he needs, Susie Pearl, pluck, nope. She want to be riding that dick and licking them balls and laughing in my face. Nope, I'm not in it for that. I'm not in the life, oh, wait, nope, not in this lifetime, bitch. That's what she said. God damn it, Pamela, you better talk your shit then. Talk your goddamn shit, Pamela said. No friends. No female friends, Negro. No, what you need a friend for? I'm your friend. <laughs> Just me and you. <laughs> me and you. <laughs> you locked in. No friends. No friends for you if you fuck with damn fam. Let's just talk about it. Come on through, Don B. I miss what the fuck you said. Let me see what you said. Don said, boy... Young bad for this setup question. Yes, this is setup. Yes, I'm down bad for this setup question. I'm telling you, this is a good one, though. Somebody in trouble after the show. You already know somebody in trouble after the show, Don B. Thank you for coming through. Yeah, 10 years, exactly. You still got your shit together. Let me ask you this. No tea, no gems, just eating. Whatever the fuck I want. But you just got that natural bill. Okay. But listen, let me see what Baby Dre said real quick. Baby Dre said, no, that nigga trying to fuck. As soon as y'all, as soon as y'all have a fight. No best friends, bitch. <laughs> me and Baby Dre ain't rocking like that. Well, Baby Dre ain't rocking like that. I'm not sure I'm on the fence. I'm about to tell y'all what I feel in a minute, but I want to give my some of my bros and some of my boogets the my boogie beehive must speak first. Before I give all the way my assessment, because after the only way, this is the only way that Boogie B can give it to you. You can kind of know shit and you can kind of be on the fence with shit, but Boogie B can straighten that shit out for you. I promise you I can. Let, right here on the Let Me Stress You Out show. Come here, let me see what uh, 
Miss Anderson said, I messed with a dude and he was homophobic and no talking to niggas. I was like the door, but didn't want to talk to me during the relationship. Double way, double way, double edged sword. Damn, I missed that. I'm fucking that question up in my head right now, but I know what it's about. He didn't want you to have be friends with no niggas. All right, bet. That's the bottom line. Tracy. Tracy says, you're insecure. If he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Ooh. One of my book ass just said some real shiznits. One of my book ass Tracy Flowers just said, look, you too insecure. If he gonna slang dick, he gonna slang dick regardless of whether you monitoring what you procured or not. Whether you monitoring that dick on ling or not. He gonna sneak and do it if he want, really want to do it. So ain't no need in policing his friends. That's what Tracy said. Romisha said, hey fam, you said right. Sharon said, buffering, get your internet together, I'm sorry. Um, Jesus Torres said, yo Boogie B, do, do you want to stress out? I don't, this is the, let me stress you out. Show, I will stress somebody out if they are stressing you out. My homeboy is in here, Big D roughing. The D Russian domino player, real nigga, hood aficionado, I, uh, a gentleman and a scholar. He every time he speak to you, he call you king. Now let me tell you a little bit about this nigga's personality, so that you know that what this nigga opinion is, it matters. So I'm gonna ask Big D to tell me, Big D, when you got a woman, is she allowed to have a male best friend? Is she allowed to have a male best friend, whether he gay or straight? or either one come on now you already know i'm about to talk to you big dog come on rebecca thank you for coming back through yes sophia yes okay tawanda okay yes Dwayne says she ain't lying though but that's kind of true though i think she just said some more i think tracy just kind of came brought us to a new perspective a little bit I'm, I'm about to back that one up i think i'm about to back that one up i think i'm about to give y'all 101 reasons why what she said was good. I think, I think y'all, he better not playing. He better not playing no fucking game. Better not be playing no fucking games with me. It's me and him till the goddamn day, till the death, till death do us part. Pam still with the shit. Pam, you still with the bullshit. You want all the smoke. Fuck it. You said I want all the smoke. I'm standing on this shit. This nigga better not have a single damn friend. I don't care who it is. Nigga can't be friends with a, a, she can't be disabled or nothing. Come on, Angela. Talk to me. I'm asking y'all real quick. I just wanted, this is the beginning of the Let Me Stress You Out show. Y'all know I get the answers from y'all first. I ask you a tough question, because these are tough questions. Some of these, I think y'all need to take more, uh, uh, um, pay more attention to right now in 2020, because this is 2020. We about to be in 2021. Nigga, you niggas still thinking like you started in 1983 or 1993 when I ain't have access to all these hoes? I got access to an abundance of bitches at this point. You have a, access to a bunch of an abundance of big old In 2020, we got options. We all got options. What is we putting up with and what is we not putting up with? Because you know, even though you do got options, Sometimes the options are limited in your area. So how do I tag someone? How do I tag you so I can send you the name? No, just tell me, Jesus Torres, what you do is you tell me who stressing you out, but don't say their name. You just tell me what the problem is in the comments or in my DM. I think that's what you're asking. Um, don't nobody come to my house bringing shit. Fuck friends. Wow, Vonda, no friends for you. Vice President said it doesn't matter what they want to do. It's how I am. Ooh, so, oh, okay. So, Vice President, what you telling me is it don't matter if you got a man friend that want to fuck. It's about you not going to let him fuck. That's what it is. Okay, I see that point of view, too, and I think I will address that one as well. Tawanda says, some will say hell no. Angela, I just came back, was getting ready for work. Go ahead and go make your goddamn money, Angela. You got, 
you you got them put 300 in that cash app and I appreciate your damn soul, but you got to make that bread. You can't come here every day if you if it's gonna slow you down from making that bread. But I want y'all to come to the Let Me Stress You Out show every day. But if you can't, cause you making that paper, you when you do come, you make sure you make your presence felt. You saying, talking them comments, you hit that cash app, you talk back and forth and you laugh or whatever. You put your shit in the comments and make sure you know people know you up in this bitch when you come to the Let Me Stress You Out show. I got one of my new old friends on the chat, Miss Anderson. And Miss Anderson is goddamn in Pennsylvania doing her goddamn thing. Upstanding woman of substance and great virginer. I don't know if it is great virginer, but I'm assuming that it is because of her mental state. When I say that, she is now one of my baguettes, yes. Dwayne said, if he ain't no female friends around you, I bet we got some. Uh, if he ain't, if he ain't got no female friends around you, I bet you he got some of my work though. Damn, I can't get that one out. I can't make that one out. I'm way behind in the chat. I'm too far, too far to take the time to read it. I'm sorry, some of these women nowadays are so insecure. My two best friends are fine as hell, but I've never looked at them in that way. Okay, Rebecca, I see where you're going with it. Sharika said yes, but boundaries though. Okay, let's break this down. Okay, that's enough, I had enough. I had all I could take. Y'all done gave me all what you give me, can give me. I think y'all done gave me every perspective. Almost every perspective you're gonna come with, I think y'all done already gave it to me. Yes, indeed. Let me tell you something, Raquel. Thank you for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out show. You're just in time. Angela, what is it? Thank you for sharing the live, baby girl. I appreciate you. Angela, listen, if you go make that money, you make that money, you, you come back and you do your thing in that cash app. I'm gonna check it today too, matter of fact. Before I get on this roll I'm about to get on, cause I'm about to go on one of them I'm about to go on one of them go hard for about five minute non-stop rants. And you're gonna be like, damn, is this nigga breathing? Oh my goodness, Angela came through again on the cash out. Angela, goddamn, you done swine that you done back the goddamn chase a uh, chase uh a chase money truck up into the goddamn cash out. You is getting your goddamn money. That's a damn shame how good you're doing out here, really. It, I hate that the world is so unfair like this. I wish everybody was doing good like you. Shit, you doing good. That's something to be proud of. Thank you so much for hitting that cash app like you did. Selena, goddammit, I appreciate your ass. Goddamn, Selena, why y'all showing off like this? Romisha, I see what you're doing in the cash app. I see what you did, too. You done put us over the quota. I appreciate you. What we do, we try to make money every day. Y'all got to sow y'all goddamn seed. Y'all got to give me y'all doobie nevolets. I don't know if that's the right term to use that in, but y'all got to because I'm about to do something great for your life. I'm about to make you laugh, but I'm about to make you think, and I'm about to change your perspective or reaffirm your already perspective. The perspective that you already own, let me make it make sense to everybody for some of y'all. For some of y'all, let me give you a new perspective for 2020 moving forward. Because this post-COVID, y'all know what I'm about to say. Come on now. Love you too, Angela. Thank you so much for hitting that little thing for me. Hit that cash is app. Maria, thank you so much for hitting it because you didn't hit it before. Denise didn't hit it before. All my book has to hit the cash app. I mean, that's just what they do. They get money like that. They can afford it like that. So, I mean, hey, if you're getting money, sling Gucci. If you ain't getting money and you in this chat, share that live. You ain't got shit else to do, start a watch party on your page. Don't just sit here and look at me and hog these laughs. Start a watch party. If your coworkers on your page, then goddamn uh, uh, just send it to a few people that you know in the hood and watch the, and let them laugh throughout the day. Y'all got to share the laugh. Angela, share the live. Hit the cash app. 100% support. I appreciate you. My vice president handles all the business that produces the show. So we going to keep going. Let me tell y'all something. Let me take a drink. Let me take a drink because it's about to be good. Woo! Tracy says, yes, thank you, Angela, Selena. Yes, keep it coming. When Boogie, it, when Boogie hit, 
When I hit Boogie, we'll come up. He's our guy, yes. Y'all want to be on the ground floor of this blow up. That's what. That's basically what Tracy is trying to tell y'all. Boogie about to go somewhere and she believe in it. And so does Angela and Selena. And so does all my other boogettes and boogie bros that come to this goddamn chat. Let me tell y'all something that I know for sure. There is different levels. Let's break this friendship shit down first. Let's break it down. Let's break down what a friend is first. Because you got to know what a goddamn friend is before you go, go allow somebody to have it that you in love with. So now a friend is somebody, let's, let's just give the technical definition of friendship. Let me, get, let me just read you the, what Google say friendship is. Friendship is someone you love and who loves you. Who, someone whom you respect and whom respects you. Someone whom you trust and who trusts you. A friend is honest and makes you always want to be honest. And a friend is loyal. That is the definition of a friend on the, according to the Urban Dictionary. So now... Someone you love and who loves you. Let's break this shit down now. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. I'm getting ready to save some souls in here. And Miss Anderson, I'm about to save some souls. Let me tell you something. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is levels to your trust and relationships. Let's say that off the top. Some of y'all relationships are very trust-filled and love-filled. And you know that nigga's a good nigga. You picked a good nigga at the right time. You got the good man. You're not worried about who he be friends with. You could trust him. Now, some of y'all have a nigga who you know would like everything better than to slang dick from coast to coast and do the most. You just happen to be in this nigga life right then and there and lock that nigga down because you have some baby's life. But that nigga ain't done fucking and I don't care what age he is. I don't care if you're a young nigga or old nigga. Some niggas don't never get out to get all the fucking out their system. And if you with a nigga who you know he beating the brakes off your ass, if he beating the acrylic off your toenails, if he beating your cuticles back on a regular basis, and this nigga still be looking at bitches on the internet and still be uh, 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 liking uh, other bitches, commenting on bitches' pictures, and he's still kind of just like a pussy hound. He just, you just got him subservient right now, Juanita. Then this, this, this nigga, you might want to not let him get no, because it's two levels of man. Now, let's talk about this. It's pussy hound men, and it's men that are involved from being pussy hound men. Me and my nigga, Big D in here, let me go back and read what Big D said. Big Re. Big D said, I'm not really rolling with that. It depends on what kind of best friend. What does he look like? What does that look like? Is he an out-of-town friend? Do y'all take out-of-town trips? What does that friendship... Ooh, I already know what he's saying. What does this friendship look like? I need clarity. You right. It's a lot of factors that go into this shit, Big D. Let me tell you that right off the top. Now, everything count in this shit. First things first, though, if you trust your woman and you slinging dick from the window to the wall at the crib, if you putting that dingo ling in her belly button, if you is doing what you supposed to do and she is all about you and all in love with you, she, she is one that you may be able to be more lenient with the friendship rules with. You can be more lenient with the friendship rules with her because she is an upstanding woman of substance and a purple pack of skittles between her legs. Nigga, and she knows it. So she's, she's not lacking anything in the relationship. You can be more likely to let her be friends with who you want. But if you know you got a stanky dog asshole and you just trying to maintain her, you trying to tame that beast, she is that coochie is off the leash like a loose goddamn lion in the zoo. Like a, she off the leash and that lion is roaring and you know that vagina is great and she knows she got the capability to give it to goddamn LeBron James if she want to. And she knows that she can do that on you at will. Then you might want to tighten up the rules on her a little bit because it's extremes to this shit that I'm about to tell you niggas. That's what I want to I want to tell y'all that it's extremes to this friendship shit. 
So a plutonic friend, and let's be clear, ladies, let's be clear. There's 90% of men, and then there's a 10% of men. So when it comes to you being friends with me, 90% of me, 90% of my counterparts are going to want to fuck you. 90% of the niggas that, and nine niggas, one of them niggas don't want to fuck you. Okay, let me say, let me back it down because it is 2020. Let's go back. Let's say about 80, 85%. 85% of the niggas you meet would have sex with you. If you attractive and you getting that stomach off your body and you working out and you do, getting money, working, making your, taking care of your household, you a good girl, you keep your hair done, keep your toes done, keep your nails done, keep your coochie clean. You dishing it or do you letting it heal naturally, whatever the fuck you do, but you know you spiritually clean. You you may not have too much to worry about now. But 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 I know you I ain't gotta worry about you cheating on me, but I know these niggas is going to want to have sex with you. And 90% of them, it's gonna be 15% of these niggas that's not. So every now and then you're gonna run into a nigga that genuinely does not want like me. I'm genuinely cool with a lot of damn girl. But let me tell you something. When it comes to me being your friend friend, and you ain't did shit for me, and I ain't did shit for you, and we ain't consoled each other, and you ain't caught me at a low point and helped me up, or and you ain't did that, that I'm, I'm a real stingy with my friend word now. All y'all my friends, but ain't no be no best friends coming around too often. Because it's hard for y'all to be friends with each damn each other. You can't damn find you a best friend that's female. You think I'd have found two? You think you my best friend and she my best friend? Hell no, that's a bitch I know. That's one of my friends, but that's just a bitch I That's not my best, best friend in the whole wide world. Nine times out of ten, unless I've been knowing her long before I knew you. And, and, and listen, it's some niggas that have told girls... My nigga K Dub told my other partner, Shima Franklin, that he would rather stick his dick in a tailpipe than put it inside of her. So, but that, and there's no diss against her, but he just see her as like, he'll feel like he was fucking a nigga. Cause that's the homie like that. But K Dub is an upstanding nigga of substance and great ding o ling. This nigga's a handsome chocolate southern nigga, right? This nigga make money, this nigga funny, right? This nigga got an abundance of hoes already. He don't need to smash every broad that he see or every girl that do something for him. It's easy for that nigga to turn down pussy. But it's a nigga that work at goddamn, um, it's a nigga that work at goddamn H&R Block. The nigga making some decent money. He do taxes or whatever. He got his own little tax, little tax he making little tax money. He ain't got his own business, but he all right, you know. This nigga can't do nothing but go to the strip club and fuck bitches. That's all he can do. There's some niggas that just ain't got over the shit. He ain't got enough pussy. He used to be ugly or he used to be overweight. Then the nigga got his swag together and now this nigga can't do nothing but fuck bitches. But that is just the stage in his life, ladies and gentlemen. So if you in a man, if you with a man, not saying he ain't no good nigga, but this nigga still slanging dick a little bit. You can kind of tell. You you can't say you can't say for sure or not. But you know the nigga handsome. You know what a nigga working with. You know you have sex with him all the time. That nigga dingaling is great. You know he know it's great because he tell you in your ear that it's great. This dick great, ain't it, bitch? When y'all having sex, you he cussing you out. You like, well, damn nigga. I mean, I guess it is great. Shit. Well, God, damn, okay, it's great, but damn, calm down. Okay, shit. You got to because you know this nigga ego is outrageous, right? You know this nigga ego outrageous. You know this nigga slinging them, but you know he just getting his shit together. You just helping that nigga get his shit together. You just got him on your insurance. You just got the nigga swag up his clothes, right? This nigga got a friend, a female friend. He might be subject to try to get that coochie from her because he ain't had enough coochie in the past, right? So men can have female friends, but they have to be that 15% of niggas that have got too much pussy already. We already comfortable with sex because that's the only way we can really, really cheat on you is sexually, right? But if I'm sexually fulfilled, 
Andrea, goddamn it, if you giving Joe that goddamn purple pack and you sushing down the slopes of that ding a ling every night, you shushing down the slopes of that ding a ling like a skier. You swishing on that ding a ling. That's what you doing? If you swishing on that ding a ling every night, you doing what you supposed to do. That nigga love you. You love him. You could damn let Joe off the leash. A little bit, because Joe like, nigga, I'm good. First off, I already know Joe. Joe used to fuck bitches. Before Joe got with you and in between when y'all knew each other, but y'all wasn't together, Joe was slinging dick, right? So Jay, Joe already know his surroundings. He know every girl in the city around him ain't shit. Coochie ain't good. Some of them coochie stink. Some of them got great coochie, but ain't shit. He know what's going on in his surroundings because he didn't been there and done that, right? Joe get with you, and Joe like, shit, I'm good. Nah, shit, I got my kids. I'm chilling. I don't need no, so if my friend try to holler at me, I'm going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? This how you, is how you tell if this is your friend or not. <coughs> so some of y'all ladies said you're going to have friends. You're not getting rid of your friends. I want you specifically to text your friend. I want you to wait till... <coughs> I want you to wait till an indecent hour. I want you to text them at 1 a.m. I want you to text them at a minimum 1 at 12.45, right? I want you to text them this, in, the, in this, just word for word. I want you to text your best friend, ladies, or whatever gay nigga, or whatever nigga that you think is your friend, I want you to tell him this. Text him at 12.45, 1 a.m. and say, I wish you could come over here. Or, I wish I could see you right now. Text him that. If he answer you back, whatever answer you get back, that first response to that text. First off, if that text gets answered quick, in a, quick, in a timely fashion, he texts you right goddamn back at 12.45 at night. I don't care if this, Maria Davis, I don't care if you've been with this nigga for one year, two years, five years. This nigga texts her right back at 12.45. That nigga already on the fence. The nigga already on the fence. First off, then when he respond, if he say, bitch, what's your problem? then he might be a good nigga. But if he texts you back, I mean, where you at? Come on, Ronisha. Come on, Ronisha. You already know I ain't telling no lies. You said talking about you better have a backup plan. God damn it, it depends on who you with. Let me see what you say, Vonda. Vonda said, I don't want, I don't want one bitch around me not smiling, coming to my door. I don't want shit. I'm not going to bring sweet potato to the pie, potato pie to the table on a lonely single bitch that's jealous of what the fuck I have. That's out. Okay, Vonda. Vonda says she ain't let nobody be no friend <clears throat> to her man. But it depends on where your nigga at, though. Like I said, Denise, I got friends. I got plenty of homegirls that done looked out for me, carried me through, through my rough times in life, past, no, they had nothing, you know, maybe we had a dealing in the past, maybe not. But nothing substantial of some shit where we, you know, would not be friends about it. You know what I'm saying? I got friends that I haven't had sex with. I got friends that I did have sex with. But they all know that I am an upstanding brother of substance and great ding o -ling. And they know I know that. So they know don't, don't even, I mean, if I want y'all come looking for you. They know, they know I don't, I'm, I'm really picky about mine. You know what I mean? I'm really at the point in life where I can turn down Gucci on a regular basis and be comfortable and happy in life. I could go to the club and a girl could say, hey, would you like to have this coochie? I could be like, I think I'll pass. I'm at the age and the time in my life where I'm successful enough that I don't need, I don't care how much money you got, I don't care how much good coochie you got, I don't need you. 
for nothing. So if I choose you, then I chose you. I, it don't matter how many goddamn friends I got. And most women on the defense of women in this situation. Ladies, understand this. When it comes to you having a friend, the difference is this. You are respectable, probably. Most of my bookettes are good girls, good women, good women, women of substance and great vagina. They good girls. Chances are they not going to want to fuck nobody else if they're in love with you. And they can have a friend that the nigga might be wanting to fuck. And they know it. And it's okay. She like, I know that nigga trying, I know that nigga would fuck me, but he know not to play with me like that. That's the motherfucking friend that she's allowed to have. I can't stand when you nonchalant, uh, 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 goddamn pretty ass, cupcake titty ass, sundress, loose booty wearing ass, long dress with flip flop sandals wearing ass, jiggly booty, no underwear wearing ass, pretty face, long eyelashes, makeup wearing ass, heifers. I don't care how you look pretty, acting ignorant like a nigga don't want to fuck you. You know what you putting together. You know damn well some of these niggas want to fuck you, but then I ask you about it, and you'll be like, well, he didn't say nothing. I mean, he on that boy ain't worried about me. Well, goddamn, you don't wear no underwear on a regular basis. You go places with a dress on, your titties still sitting up because you're on that goddamn tee and you're getting your Nutriburst. You're on that seat moss. Your body right. You don't even need no underwear. You could just go out with the shit just naked underneath. You going and hanging out with this nigga smelling good like you smelling, looking good like you smelling. Look, you going to tell me you oblivious to the fact that this nigga will put a ding -a -ling up in you that will be the size of a pogo stick. That nigga will put a pogo stick worth of dick up in you if any given moment was to happen. Because you is tempting this nigga and you being around him. And when you got a friend, you be nice and sweet to your friend. You look out for your male friends. You bail a nigga out of jail. You go get the nigga call when he get it pounded for him. You'll do a whole lot of shit for your male best friends. But you better understand and you need to know that I don't give a fuck if he homosexual. It's only 15% of the time and it has to be the stage in this nigga life where you know this nigga don't need no coochie. This nigga is at the lack of need for coochie. This is a nigga like Trey Songz. Trey Songz don't need no coochie. He can get coochie at will. So you can kind of kind of let Trey Songz be friends with who the fuck he want because guess what? He chose your ass. That nigga got options. That nigga's over it. He's like, you know what? Fuck these bitches. I don't need all these hoes. It's 15% of men like that. The chances are you ain't getting that 15% of the nigga. That's a rare come by. So it's 85% of the time you're going to meet a nigga that will have sex with you, gay, straight, or otherwise. I just need you to understand that first. Don't be acting like when the nigga try to fuck that you was like all shocked and shaking. Why would he do that? I thought we was cool. That nigga know he shouldn't play with me like that. All that weak ass, dumb ass shit after y'all then you done came and told me that the nigga was trying to give it to give you that dingly. You done came and told me, you know what? That nigga tried me. I had to get I can't fuck with him no more. You knew that nigga wanted to have sex with your ass from the gate, though. You knew that nigga wanted to, and y'all, oh, I hate when y'all be ignorant to the shit. Understand this. The only way plutonic friendships work, ladies and gentlemen, is if the man is at a particular point in his life, in the situation. Whoever is your opposite, whether it be, as long as it's the male, because once the male get over slinging that dick, then he can be friends with whoever the fuck he want. Nigga like me, I'm comfortable. I know I'm slinging dick. I know my shit good. I know I'm eating cooch and booty to whoever I love only. It's a one ass minimum. I don't eat more than one ass and at no point in my life. But I know I'm going to do whatever I got to do for my woman so my woman going to be satisfied. I know I'm on my grind. I'm getting my money. I'm hustling. And I'm talking about shit. I, I know I'm charming. I know I'm a good man, right? If I'm doing all this for you, you bet you don't need to police me. You need to goddamn look. You see who I am. 
You see the fucking monster that I am in these streets. If that nigga got that kind of confidence, ladies, you know this nigga ain't fucking bitches. You can let him, you can let him off the leash. All that no free and shit. That's showing your weakness. Don't show your weakness, ladies. I don't want to see your weakness. I don't want no parts of it. When you say that nigga can't have no friends, that mean you pick bad niggas. That mean the nigga that you like, you can't trust. That mean that you didn't pick to the utmost best of your pick abilities. If you didn't pick right, you responsible for your choices. You knew that nigga wasn't shit when you met him. But then you start liking the nigga and you try to change him. And you see he a little changed a little bit, but you know that nigga still sus subject to sling that dick at will. You know he still like threesomes. You know he still um, smoking and drinking and partying and hitting the club, hitting the street. This nigga might be out there slinging dick now. He can't be, he can't, have, he, ain't, he ain't no nigga you can trust alone with a girl. It's, hey, listen, it's some niggas you can trust me alone with your, <coughs> with your daughter. Because guess what? I don't know your damn daughter. I don't want her. I don't give a damn. You ain't gonna, you, you ain't gonna just leave me alone with a woman and all of a sudden think she gonna get this thing I value my shit. My shit worth something. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta evaluate you before I get this dick at this point. I gotta evaluate your, your, your choosing decisions. I gotta evaluate your character before I sling this dick. That's just the way I'm, I am. In, I'm in the top five percent of niggas. At this point in my life, I'm in the top percentile of niggas that I don't even give a fuck. If you're bad, I don't care if you don't got no stomach on you. I don't care if them titties look like goddamn they sitting up like goddamn Granny Smith apples or they sitting up like goddamn two, uh, like two goddamn honey baked hams on your chest. I don't care what the, your body look like. I don't care how pretty you is. I don't care how much makeup you got on. I'm not impressed by a lot of shit at this point. So I mean, you could come, you could come kicking with me, but I might not have sex with you because I'm really like, well, I'm good. Even if I'm single, I'm choosing. So, but I'm in the top percentile where some of y'all niggas gonna get there eventually. Some of the niggas y'all dating, they might be there already, so you know what I'm talking about. Some of these niggas don't. We don't have the right to have the ego we have, but we know that it's a shortage, fellas. Joe, you know you ain't, ain't too many niggas slinging what you slinging. It's a few niggas that got you. It's a few niggas that'll get you. But but listen, nigga, you make up for that with the who, with the character of man that you are, nigga. You take care of your kids. How many niggas doing that? You're not in jail. How many niggas free? You're not gay. How many niggas ain't gay out here in the 2020s? Some of these niggas even got COVID out here. You COVID free slinging dick? Come on, nigga, you got options. Get your confidence up. Stop trying to have sex with your friends. What you need to have sex with these hoes for? You need to let your friends know that I am a, I am friends with you because I choose not to. I don't I don't want you. I mean, you cool as hell, but I got options. I mean, you just ain't my you know my cup of particular tea. Fuck what she feel, fellas. You need to goddamn get yourself worth up sometimes and stop trying to have sex with your friends and ladies if you out here by chance per se you out here trying to slang coochie to your male best friend then you know you weak as hell anyway you ain't got no damn self-control even though i knew that nigga was handsome i knew you was best friends with a handsome nigga with cornrows this nigga got a beard this nigga light skin tattoos all the way up his body all the way down his chest this nigga in shape i know this nigga slinging dick because i saw on the internet what he doing now if i know all this about this nigga and you best friends with him and i allow you to be best friends with him you know you better not fuck that nigga you better not that'll be disrespectful to the culture you knew you wanted that nigga before you met me. Me and that nigga don't even look alike. You could have been had that dingling if you wanted it. And if you got it and you still came to me, what the fuck you came to me for? You had a nigga better. What the nigga didn't do? What was he wasn't doing that I'm doing that brought you over here? Well, goddamn it, stay on over here then. I ain't about to police you and this beautiful nigga. Fuck you and him. If y'all want to go, go ahead and go, goddamn it. <laughs> I got options too, shit. I ain't gonna die, I ain't gonna go down the I ain't gonna go down the tubes. But damn, why would you do that? You knew that nigga was more handsome than me when you met me. 
You had that nigga first. You knew that nigga first. Come on, now, nah, shit. That nigga was that nigga was first, and he was handsome. Any he was slanging dick, he should have kept you. Why the hell would you go back and sleep with your old friends? I don't understand the lady. Ladies, you got options. The shit is different between men and women. It's not a fair world. I don't make the fucking rules of this planet. I just abide by them. It's a yin and a yang. It's a it's a it's duality. So for men, it's one way, and for women, it's another way. For women, if you trying to have sex with men outside of the relationship, that's your friend, that's your own weak ass. You you listen, I ain't even gonna police you. I'ma let him do it to you too. That I hope that nigga beat your goddamn. I hope that nigga beat the creases out your pants. I hope that nigga, I hope he beat your goddamn third disc loose from your back. <coughs> Woo, I got too passionate. Let me calm down. Woo. <coughs> oh. I told you I'd be going in. Sometimes I be talking, my brain be moving faster than my damn mouth. And my body is still getting overwhelmed. That's why I tell y'all to hit that goddamn cash out because goddamn it, I'm up here putting in work for one hour. I ain't stopped talking yet. I literally read y'all comments back. I interacted with y'all. I gave y'all a new damn perspective. This men and women shit, when it comes to friends, it's different. Know who you with. Know your partner first. That's first. So you can let them have friends if you know what type of nigga they is. If they the type of nigga like me, you can let me have friends. But if your nigga still a little hound dog, slanging dick, pink dick nigga, and think that every time he sees something, that little pink pop out like a pit bull. He with you and he looking at people, booties and shit. He still got that little thirsty kind of look, look in his eye, a little mentality. He ain't fucking, he ain't cheating on you. But, but, but you can see it in his eyes that he would if the right bra came around. You could tell by the way he talk about women. Yeah. So if you got that nigga, you need to be a little tight on your rules. If you got a good woman or a good man, if you got a good woman and she confident and you confident with her, you can let her be more lenient with a rule. Let her decide. Because if you trust her, if you love her, let she know what's best for y'all. She, she, she do and he do. See, men, we evolved to where y'all already at, ladies. Mentally, y'all already in the space. When y'all come out the womb, y'all in the space to where... I choose who I give my body to. Nobody pressures me. I choose, right? But then when you be the nigga and you choose the nigga, and he like, I'm good, then you kind of choose the right nigga, like, cause that nigga got options too. Like you don't want you don't want to have all the options and your man got zero options but you. That shit is weird. That's, it's weird for one thing that nobody don't want his ass. For two, you got to let him tell you some stories about pussy he turned down. Every nigga, every real nigga got a story about a woman that tried to give him some coochie. He was like, come on now, G. Really? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I'm good. I'm straight. I appreciate the offer, though. <laughs> I mean, you cool. We still, it's all love. Ain't no trip. I ain't chill. Come on, bring it in, hug. Huh? Come on, baby girl, you my little sis. Come on now. There's some niggas out there like me like they would do that. What Vice President said was on point. Thank y'all so much for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out show. Guess what? We done already ran through an hour. We got three goddamn minutes left on the show. Let me see what y'all been saying. Nobody likes to get played, especially when you let a person in your house eat your food, give them drink, give them a cool, you cool with them and they fuck your man behind your back. Does it cold? That's some cold shit. It is some cold shit, Vonda. But that rarely happens if you're dealing with the right person. Because if I see somebody like me too much and I'm with my lady and I whatever, I'm not going to let it go to the point of no return. I know at a certain point, I'm going to pull my dealing out. At some point, I am. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna like it, but I'm not gonna let no. I'm not gonna let it get to that point because I'm a grown ass man. I control this nigga lady. So I mean, she can want it all she want. And gay bestie, gay bestie will have sex with you sometimes, vice president. So if you got a gay bestie, you need to check their temperature too. Send that nigga the same text. Hey, it's one. It's two. It's twelve forty-five. 
I so wish I could see you right now. Say that. And if that nigga respond with anything, if he respond, if he don't respond, y'all can stay best friends. If, if he respond and he say, what is your problem? Y'all can stay best friends. But if gay bestie say, where you at? Gay bestie about to come see you and gay bestie about to put there. Don't be fooled. These gay niggas be having dicks down to their knees. Come on now, don't, don't act like we don't know. Let's be grown, niggas. These gay niggas is putting dicks in butts all across the country and them dinglings is getting stretched out. Them niggas is having a lot of sexual activity, so them dinglings is getting very work. And them niggas dinglings is huge. And they may be feminine and talk all that shit, that sister shit, that, that gay shit. But you catch that nigga on the wild drunk coked up night and some of them gay dudes be doing that coke when they party. But they make their money and they take care of their household. And they got them always stay fresh. Them niggas handsome, them niggas gay, them niggas dress well, them niggas stylish. They style your girl. They put a makeup on. They be naked around your girl. Your girl then seen that gay nigga got that big old donkey dingaling between his legs. And she be like, oh my God. Like, wow. Like, she know you don't have nowhere near the dingling he got. But guess what? On this one night, this one particular night, gay bestie might come over there. After y'all done got into it, like David Dre said, she go cry on gay bestie's shoulder. Gay bestie got the y'all done when had some wine all night. Gay, gay bestie done been kicking it with his 3 a.m. God damn it, I got to go. Woo, I was about to go too far. My goddamn vice president said, stop, the show is over. Because I, you know, I can never, I can do this shit all day. It's just, it's, it's just, it's in my nature. Y'all hit that cash out. Thank y'all for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out show. I'm your host, comedian Boogie B, the New Orleans representative. The mouth of the South, Mr. Come here, let me stress you out. And I'm out. Hit that cash out. Thank y'all for coming, Boogettes. Thank all y'all, my, my Boogie bros, for coming. Y'all DM me if somebody.